Hello, this is Abdul Matasiri. I would like to welcome you in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. In this video, we'll continue our discussion regarding the vertical bearing. Uh, we are simulating that we are flying at flight level uh, 160 or 16,000, depending on what's your transition level. Indicated airspeed is 300. We are on alt hold LNAV MCB speed. And we are inbound for the ILS runway 3 for right. So we are almost doing a straighten approach to the runway. In the CDU here, we have put in the descent page the runway. So our vertical bearing to the runway at this time is 1.9 and our flight path angle is 0 since we are maintaining a level flight. So let's say that we want to maintain a vertical bearing of 2.0 degrees. What we will do is we'll maintain our altitude and when this number is 2.0 the vertical bearing then we'll dial in in the MCP whatever vertical speed we have here. When we put that, when we do that, the uh, flight path angle is going to be very close or equal to the target vertical bearing that we are after, which is 2.0 in this example. And as you can see, the vertical speed is increasing, so the vertical bearing will be increasing. So now we have the 2.0 degrees, so we'll dial in initially 1,200. So vertical speed 1,200. And we'll continue our descent or start our descent. So the flight path angle will uh, start increasing now. And it's going to be within 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 from the vertical bearing. Now the vertical speed is a very good indicator actually. This is what I use. Because it gives you a hint or a heads up on the change in the vertical bearing. If this number is decreasing, the vertical bearing will eventually decrease. If this number is increasing, then the vertical bearing will be increasing. And the rate of the change in the vertical speed will indicate how fast or how slow the change in the vertical bearing will happen. The problem with trying to control the flight path angle using vertical speed is going to be uh, challenging because it, it will be changing a lot when you fly the airplane. So that's why I like to utilize the vertical speed here and use it as my target or at least my initial target and then I change it from there but I keep an eye on the flight path angle the vertical bearing and the vertical speed when I do my scan so again if you see this number is changing very quickly then you adjust your vertical speed within 100 or 200 feet per minute and what you are after is just to maintain a constant vertical bearing to the runway. and now let's say that we want to intercept a vertical bearing to the runway of 2.5 degrees so what we will do is we'll level up, either go to a zero vertical speed or 500 feet per minute, anything lower than the target vertical speed in the uh, CDU will result in an increase in the vertical bearing. So now we are level, the flight path angle is zero, and this number will be increasing, indicating for us that eventually this number will increase as well. And again, when we have 2.5 degrees here, We'll dial in whatever vertical speed we have here as our initial uh, vertical speed and then we'll uh, adjust it from there. So I'm going to fast forward until 2.4 degrees and we'll just monitor it from there. Alright, so now we are at 2.4 degrees and the vertical speed is still in increasing. So we have 2.5 now, so we'll go with 1500 of a vertical speed. And again, that is as an initial target would be very good for the flight path angle to be very close to our target vertical bearing. Now remember if you change the speed then the vertical speed change here will be will uh, will increase. So if you reduce the speed, the vertical speed here will decrease as well. And eventually you need to change your target vertical speed. So let's say we'll go to uh, indicated air speed of 250. And then you keep an eye on the both the three numbers flight path angle, vertical bearing and vertical speed. And as you can see it is decreasing. So we need to uh, decrease our uh, target vertical speed as well. So we'll go with 1400. And so on. As you can see the flight path angle here is less than the vertical bearing. But again, we are utilizing the vertical speed since here it is very a precise indication of where are we going 
with the uh, vertical bearing so before even a change of 0.1 degree here in the vertical bearing we know the trend or the direction that this number will change to so the vertical speed is still decreasing so we can go ahead and reduce our vertical speed to 1300 and so on so this is basically how to change or how to intercept a vertical bearing to the runway if you are coming for a straight end approach in this video i was talking about two uh, vertical bearings 2.5 and 2.0 degrees by the way now it is 2.6 so we need to increase our vertical speed to 1600 also to maintain a vertical bearing of 2.5 so for a vertical bearing of 2.5 degrees with the indicated speed of 250 that will enable you to maintain this indicated speed of 250 up to 15 miles from the runway and then if you level off decelerate configure in a normal way then you'll be able to capture the glide slope with no problems that is with a, a vertical bearing of 2.5 degrees to the runway for a straight end and indicated airspeed of 250 and you can do that from any altitude if you like up to 15 miles or so from the runway now for a vertical bearing of 2.0 degrees let's assume that you want to maintain a high speed below 10,000 assuming only so you can maintain 300 up to 20 miles if you have here a vertical bearing of 2.0 degrees and you can do that even with a, an altitude above 10,000. So you can maintain a vertical bearing of 2.0 with indicated airspeed 300. And then when the altitude is about 10,500, indicated airspeed reduces it to 250. And once you have a vertical bearing of 2.5 here, then you continue your descent with whatever vertical speed you have here. So uh, that's it for the uh, vertical bearing discussion for this video. In a future video, we'll continue our discussion regarding the vertical bearing if you come for from a downwind base to final how to use it and the other one is uh, if you are in radar vectors how to maintain a vertical bearing in a way that when you intercept the localizer you'll be able to be exactly on glide slope or very close to the glide slope using the vertical bearing to the runway all right so uh, that's it for this uh, video as usual if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know uh, this is Abdul Mata Asiri wish you safe flying and smooth landing thank you for watching